angry guy here, and gyms are going bankrupt as 60% of men are boycotting gyms. Guys, if you're enjoying these videos, please help get this channel to 100,000 subscribers on our journey to 2 million by subscribing to the channel if you already haven't, liking the video, and turning on notifications to never miss another video ever again. Now let's begin. Gyms are going bankrupt as 60% of men are boycotting gyms. Let's just go ahead and jump right into the video. Look, I swear I'm not trying to be Joey Swoles, but I have to say something about this video. So personally, I saw about four or five things that really rubbed me wrong about this video. First one being, she obviously recorded this with a tripod. It's not like she had some hidden camera and she was catching people staring or something. They saw you set up your camera and was probably like looking at you like you were an influencer or something. Secondly, I swear she counted the same dude like five times. Like it was really only him and he wasn't necessarily staring but glancing at you. Thirdly, this has to be the most self-absorbed shit I've ever read. It's like some self-fulfilling prophecy she doesn't even know that she's doing. Like, yes. People may be looking at you because you're in bright pink. You've got your tripod set up. You're doing a weird kickback exercise. People are going to look at you in the gym. And at this point, I would understand if men began to go to the gym like this from all these videos where men are caught staring and being creeps. There are legitimate creeps out there. I'm not going to lie. Stay away from them. Creeps, stop. But glancing at somebody doesn't make you one. Y'all let me know what y'all think about this video, though. Maybe I was tripping, and maybe the girl's right. Y'all let me know. Guys, everybody is tired of this nonsense and the necessity to say, you know, okay, well, there are these guys. It's like every time, you know, that a woman set, makes a false claim and the police come out and say it was a false claim, and it's getting fewer and fewer because a lot of dudes are now ending up with convictions. You know, the police come out and say, so in this case, the claims were not true, but we want to emphasize that all women should feel safe and feel comfortable to come forward with legitimate claims and every time they do that they're basically throwing the victim the man who was victimized by this individual under the door you know and there's no consequences when women do this because keep in mind anytime they get charged for doing these things they're not being charged for actually making the claim against the man there's no law in in western society there is no law that protects men from these claims. If the women do it, they, there's nothing the man can do other than take them to court and sue them. That's it. Like they could have a guy thrown in jail and serve a sentence in jail for 20, 25 years. And after it's proven that he that that she lied, there are no consequences that can be levied because there are no laws that protect men. Whenever you hear that a woman is actually punished for these things, that's because of the time that she wasted off the state. So for example, she costed the state money. She took, you know, police resources were used that could have been used to help others. You know, she that's that's what she's being punished for. She is not in any way being punished for lying and destroying this man's life and putting him in jail or costing him costing him his job and his his I mean his well-being. You know, that's that it's and it's never going to end. Guys like just don't understand. You have no safety nets in, a, in Western society. You have no protection. A woman can say anything, do anything, and she will get away with it 100%. And while things are changing, little by little, it's not changing fast enough. In most cases where there's a DV incident and the cops are called, most of, even though the guy will be the one who was you know, that she, like she put her hands on him or he was defending himself, it doesn't matter. They will take him to jail 100% and even tell him to shut his mouth, close his mouth and don't talk back, you know? Let's go ahead and jump into the very next video because I want you guys to see this. Some dudes are getting frustrated and they're literally, they won't be polite. And I keep telling y'all, just be polite and, and y'all are like, no. Am I going to be in the background or break your is your issue, bro? I don't like to be in the background. You're not going to be in the background. Okay, 
And you see that right there, guys. He basically saw the phone and he said, I'm not going to be in your background. I better not be in your background. And he basically said that, you know, that phone could end up being broken. And she, and this is the type of energy that's going to come right now. Like you're going to run into these men. A lot of dudes just don't want the problem, but there's a lot of men that are like, you know, they'll do the jail time. Some of these dudes have been in jail. They've been in, they've had, they, you know, they have felonies and the gym is like the only thing that makes them happy going to the gym, working out. And they're not afraid of doing the jail time. They are legitimately not afraid of doing the jail time. And a lot of these women, you know, they play stupid games and then they win stupid prizes and they're like, and they're, then they go on social media to cry about it. Like it's all social media today. Women don't live in reality. They live entirely in social media, on social media. Even when they're not on social media, their brains are on social media because the way that social media works and operates, that's how they are. That's how they view the world. They, they view the world through a lens of social media because they receive all, most of their validation on social media. So they think that, oh my gosh, I'm really a 10. They like they validly, seriously think that they're really tens. They really think that they are perfection and they were made by God to be worshipped and, and idolized, which is very interesting because they are now false idols. And it's it, it's intriguing that they don't seem to understand what God does to false idols. Like God will put up with a lot. God will absolutely put up with a lot with us. You know, for example, there was a time when, you know, if you said something about God that was not true, you know, that would be the end of you. And, you know, he's given us a lot of leniency. But when these false idols pop up and they're not even speaking of God, they are basically saying that they are gods themselves. So they're not speaking of Jesus Christ. They're not speaking about the Father in heaven. They actually believe that they themselves are gods. They are gods. They were put here to be worshipped and to be praised and to be and to be given to be given uh What's the word offerings? Like this, like there's some real false gods. They are like they're the they're they're the golden calf. Like, you know, I called it years ago the golden vagina, right? And that's what it is right now. They've set up shop, and not only do they want men to worship the golden V, but they themselves also <laughs> Guys, you can see here why men are sick and tired, why men are done with it, why guys are walking away from the gym, walking away in droves and say, you know what? We're not going to play this, this silly game with you anymore. This is sick. This is disgusting. You think that you can do this wherever you want to? You think that you can go around and harass? Because this is, this is harassment. What they're actually doing here is absolutely 100% harassment. They're harassing these men. They're putting themselves out there for attention, and they're basically daring men to like do something about it. It's literally a situation where they're like, oh, really? You don't like it? Do something about it. What are you going to do about it? You can't do nothing. You can't stop me. And, you know, again, they're messing around, and then they're going to, and they're, they're finding out. And when they find out, they say that they're victims and they cry, you know, it's literally cry me a river. He should go in ballistic. You know, how can these men treat us like this? I mean, guys, this, this is what y'all do. And then, you know, you find out that the world does not revolve around you. There are consequences for your actions, and you're going to have to face those consequences. But women, that's something that women don't really understand because, you know, they are bailed out of every bad decision that they make. And then you wonder why they have these entitled attitudes. You don't have clothes on. You need to be out of here. I do have clothes on. Go closer. That is fine. He's saying you need to leave. It's not a good No, no, a bunch of Cool. I mean, she's covered. So. Yeah, she's covered. She's covered. So we're not supposed to video I mean, guys, this is the reality of it. They feel like they could do whatever they want. They're just doing it for attention, doing it for clicks, doing it for views. 
and it's not going to stop. The only thing, the only power that men truly have in this situation is walking away. I see some guys in the comments that saying we shouldn't be walking away. Should we should be fighting? This is absolute nonsense. Like I think those guys that are like saying, "Oh, we should be fighting, fight, like stand up, we need to go and like to do this." Like it's absolute nonsense. There are so many guys that have been fighting for years, filing lawsuits, and guess what? They get shut down, or they or they get shamed on social media, and it's like it's a it's a losing battle. It's an absolute losing battle. It's like you. It's like and it's like you. You win in like what one state? It doesn't make any difference really on a national level. It really doesn't. Even when even if laws change on a national level, it's like there's just a million other things because of the gynocentric society that we currently live in. The only way that men are ever going to find any peace and every any happiness in this world is by rejecting and replacing what's currently there. Like these these individuals, these people in Western society that you know they they said they don't want these men. Well, they they have to be they need to be replaced. That's what black that's what the black black guys are doing. The password bro, black passport kings are doing. They are rejecting the women within these communities and they are replacing them, and they're leaving them to face accountability. Keisha and Tyrone have to face accountability for the nonsense that they've do that they've done. Guys, if you're enjoying these videos, please. Help get this channel to 100,000 subscribers on our journey to 2 million by subscribing to the channel if you already haven't, liking the video, and turning on notifications to never miss another video ever again. Gyms are going bankrupt as 60% of men are boycotting gyms. What do you guys think regarding this? I want to know your thoughts in the comments. Let's talk about them there. Like the video if you like it. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you like the video, share the video. And just remember that all roads lead to MWA and walking away and share.